the final push. 50 miles to go. We're nearly there. This is one seriously mad drive. The Arctic Ocean. We have made it to the Arctic Ocean. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my goodness. The van is trashed. Trudy is trashed. It's official. <laughs> We've overslept. Trudy, Trudy's trashed. <laughs> we haven't done the washing up, although I did cook curry last night. The front of the van's trashed because we piled up stuff wrapped in dusty stuff. Um, it's just chaos. <laughs> and <laughs> we just woke up and looked at each other and went, oh my God, we're actually higher than Iceland and we're nearly at the Arctic Ocean. And it's cold. It's freezing, it's cloudy today and it's turned really, really cold. There's Colin, looking as clean as ever. And uh, we've just messaged Sam and Andy and said, uh, let's discuss, are we gonna stay here and rest because we're all exhausted or are we gonna get to the Arctic Ocean and come back and then stay a day before we start the two and a half thousand mile drive back towards Vancouver. And there are considerations like weather forecast. Yeah, now it's now we're saying we're sounding shocked that it's cold and you're probably going, but it's the Arctic Circle. But we've been having temperatures of 30 degrees. 30 degrees C. It's been hot. It has been hot. We've been in shorts and flip-flops. It's been <laughs> unbelievably hot and it that really shocked us. So I think tomorrow night they forecast one degree. So it's changing. And Thursday it shows snow. Even stuff from cupboards is covered in dust. Oh, is that, that dust dusty in the cupboard? Yeah, that's dust. Oh my God. It's got everywhere. When okay. I get to Vancouver, I'm cleaning this van in right now. Right, we're going to go and come up with a plan with Sam and Andy. You ready to rock and roll? I was born ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Coming in with camera. Right, morning campers. Morning. Colin's looking lovely and clean, I have to say. What's looking lovely? <laughs> Colin. That's not a rain doesn't work well good, doesn't it? It's freezing out there. It is. Yeah. It is. Right, so what is the weather forecast? Grim. <laughs> it's cold. It's cold and, and there's potential for snow. And well. We've all got our hoodies on this morning because it's know. really cold. I, I woke up. Weather. Yes. It I is. woke up this morning and I said to Chris, I just want to stay in bed all day. And then he said, oh, they're forecasting snow. And I was like, I think we should go. I was like, I, I don't know what to do with <laughs> you, well, we, we might be here till next year. <laughs> well, we thought we'd hear your views and then we've, we've had a good think about yeah. things as okay. well. And we thought them four heads are always better than two, aren't they? So <laughs> all of you people back home that think we're on holiday. Oh. Andy just said that when he gets back to Vancouver, he's going to book a flight somewhere, leave, the, leave Colin and go on holiday. Can I come? You're on holiday. <laughs> Do you feel like you're on holiday, Sam? Oh, no. <laughs> Driving to the Arctic Ocean. How's that a holiday? Blimey. <laughs> Yeah. And endurance. When yeah. I quit endurance. my job, when I quit my nine to five to, to do this travel. <laughs> I quit my job. When I did, when I decided <sighs> to do this travel adventure, I had no idea that I would be working harder. And and it's odd because we're all sat here laughing because Chris will go, yeah, it's only four and a half hours to drive. And we're going, it's only four and a half hours to drive after a 14 hour and a 10 hour drive. It's monstrous. So to all my family members that we said uh, yeah. we weren't going to the Arctic Ocean, we kind of, uh, I thought we, we, we got to the Arctic Circle sign and then we sort of changed our mind because by the time you see that, yeah. whatever happens, we it should be back idea. near his civilization his somewhere. <laughs> Chris's mum and dad, it was his idea. <laughs> I, I didn't Sorry, mum. <laughs> okay, we've got a plan. We're going to get the van ready and we're going to go up there today because the weather forecast is better. Um, and we should just go. So we're going to. So I'm just checking the tyre pressures, but look. Okay, we are off. The final push to the Arctic Ocean. We've steamed up. You ready to go to the Arctic Ocean? I cannot wait. She's all smuggled, it's freezing. I, can't, I don't know I've said it loads of time, but the heat is on there. Right, let's go. So 
but at the moment the road is pretty good. It's uh, foggy, not the best day to drive, raining a little bit. I can see Colin though, thank you for cleaning the rear view mirror. Yeah, we had to, uh, we drive with our little reversing camera on, so we can keep an eye on Colin behind, make sure we don't lose him. It also tells you when there's a very big truck coming up your rear end. Yes, although the walkie talkies are great, these have been a blessing because they say, truck coming and then we say if there's one or anything on the road ahead or there on the left <laughs> hopefully we see some uh, herds of caribou or something this morning so we're just coming out the other side of Inuvik <laughs> car graveyard there by the looks of it <laughs> that is not somewhere Trudy's going no it's going to be very satisfying to uh, eventually get back and to be able to power hose Trudy once we've uh, finished this road. She'll change, she'll look like a new van. Now we've hit, a, we've hit a stretch of road. You can tell by Bob's head there, which is shaking everything. It's the shuddery roads for the vans and the motorhomes are the worst. With these like, these all these ripples in the road. Slow and steady, but I think it might take us a little bit longer than uh, than it says. We were just saying this morning, we're both in Fiat Ducatos, both Adria twin conversions, uh, Adria conversions, and we're both driving Michelin tires. There you so go. Adria, Michelin or Fiat, if you're listening, call us. <laughs> we just passed a sign saying you're in bear country a fed bear is a dead bear don't feed the bears keep the wildlife wild look how bleak this is nearly on top of the world and there is nothing for miles so the guys just radioed incoming lorry is coming Oh great, now we're going through the fog. This gives a whole new dimension to moors. Look at this. It's a bit bleak. We're all hoping to see hundreds of caribou because that's what the locals would be living off um, during the bleak months and we can't see them. This might be a San Francisco Golden Gate Bridge moment. It's the journey, not the destination, remember? We'll, we'll, get, we'll get to the Arctic Ocean and go, honestly, it's there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is lovely and foggy, isn't it? I've just said, really rough road and fog. What more could you want? All we need now is a blizzard. And a couple of Haribo's. We're just driving along and there's a number of cars here. We're not sure if they stopped because there's a problem or if they stopped because there's something to look at. You okay? Hi guys, are you, are you okay? <laughs> okay, we're just checking in case you've broken down. <laughs> See you later. Loads of snowmobiles parked up here, ready for the winter. I, yeah, I suppose if you, oh and they've got like their towing boxes. I suppose if there's no snow 
snow, you might as well just leave them there and wait for the snow. Exactly. It's got really quite gravelly and dusty now and just got overtaken by a lorry. Always best to let them pass by. And then you got this bollard to tell you to keep off the middle of the road because there's a massive hole in it. Is there a massive yeah, hole? Yeah, massive hole. There's another truck incoming. I don't know what they're carrying. If anybody knows what they're carrying, because there's not a lot up here. I don't know. They're carrying cloths to wipe the dust off. <laughs> you need a lot and of And tyres. Tyres. Tyres, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. This road's getting worse. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay. Redoing the roads here. They're regrading them to make them flat. Regrading them. That's why you get these ridges in the road, look. Because they are literally mud. <laughs> they are. They're ploughing the road, love. They're ploughing the road. Of course they are. 60 miles to go until we're on top of the world. And it's a bit slow going. Oh, stretch the legs and make a coffee. Flipping heck. We've only got about 35 miles to go, which is probably a good hour hour and a half look at this we're nearly there mental i may have found one of the problem areas of the van <laughs> dust oh, oh my god chunks and chunks and was that chunks. there's a hole you said there's a hole in the floor ventilation hole and it's where we keep our pcr tests oh my and god i just found i found it it's there oh. so i'm gonna block it but this is good the bottom of the fridge is blocked off and that's doing good and now, the door's blocked off that's doing good and that's the last one we should be rocking after we block that one it's, and we just found another one there's a bit more dust coming in probably yeah a car just drove fast i'm going to block that hole oh, oh. Check this view out. On and on and on. We're nearly there, but you can still see the road going off as far as the eye can see. This is one seriously mad drive. And every time we stop for Chris to take photos, I'm in the bag with kitchen roll trying to clean this dust. <laughs> I can smell it. I it's, put the heat in honestly, on. Honestly, it's just unbelievable. Oh. I've never experienced this kind of dust ever. Okay, not sure what these are. Maybe weather monitors or... Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know? Comment below. So we're just passing a, uh, a parking area here and it's full of lots of snowmobiles. And it looks like they've got boats behind them. They are boats. No, I think they're trailers. Do you think trailers. they're trailers? I think they're like sledges and you'd carry, like you'd carry a trailer on a car. These are, are sledges. They're just all parked up here, look. They're made out of wood, so they must be sledges. That's mad. Check out all those logs that are washed up there. That's mad. There's a log beach. It's like the currents have dragged them in. Yeah. We've only got about uh, 
five miles to go. We're nearly at the Arctic Ocean sign, the end of the road. There you go, we've just seen the first houses there that we've seen since we left. Amazing, and the town is uh, nine kilometers this way. We're just going past this huge scrapyard here. We were laughing. Is that the, uh, the cars that didn't make it? Or is that, actually I think that's their landfill. I think that's how they deal with their rubbish. There you go, we're nearly there. Visitors centre, one kilometre ahead. There is petrol or diesel. And uh, you can see the, uh, the oil or the diesel tanks here. Uh, probably they store it there. Quite industrial at the moment, but the town I think is uh, just a, a little bit further ahead. Welcome to Tuktoyaktuk. This is the most northerly town. We've just passed the sign saying welcome to the town. And uh, now we're heading as far as the road goes and uh, the Arctic Ocean sign. Lots of diggers and tractors and truck fronts and snowmobiles. I suppose they're permanently trying to battle with the elements and try and exist in this really, really isolated and just tough place, isn't it? And then there's there's houses here. You can see uh, more houses coming up over here. How remote is this? Can you imagine in the dead of winter, for months in darkness living here, these people are, are hardcore. They're hardcore. Mentally, they must be like the strongest people on the planet. But this is what I expected it to look like, really. You know, you've seen these sort of villages on TV programs, and uh, to think that we're actually here now, it's just mind blowing. Look, right on the edge of the sea here. Half a mile till the end of the road. Amazing, absolutely amazing. So there you go. Arctic Ocean. We have made it to the end. That is the Arctic Circle sign. We are here. Arctic Ocean sign. The Arctic Ocean. Okay, people, we have made it to <laughs> the Arctic Ocean. Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> We've made it to the end of the road, the most northerly point in the whole of Canada by road. We are here. And it's cold. And it's been a mission to get here. And you'll be pleased to know it's absolutely freezing. Oh yes! <laughs> I've got socks oh, under too. my shoes. Oh. On the back of the sign they got all the stickers and of course we had up in a tread the globe one. The end of the world as we know it. I feel fine. Yes, we're just walking literally right to the end of the road to the furthest point. It's great, it. they've got these little barbecue spots and seating areas. Although today is flipping freezing. It's very cold. So this town, uh, also known as Tuk, it, uh, the road's only been built, I think it was 2017. And it must be very strange to have all these tourists, not that there's a lot of us, but there's more than there was before the road, coming and invading their traditional way of life that has been here for years. And uh, the community would rely heavily on fishing whaling, caribou, and uh, whatever nature would provide to them. But 
Wow, look at this. This is the end. Be careful, darling. Oh, come on, Andy, jump in. <laughs> oh, bad idea. Bad <laughs> 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 <Or> in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a little restaurant here that everyone said we should go to. Grandma's Kitchen. There you go, Grandma's Kitchen. Straight in front. Straight in front. So let's have a look. Oh yeah. Grandma's Kitchen. There you go, it's one of these. Grandma's Kitchen. That's Grandma's Kitchen right here. So it is open, so we'll go and see what they got. Maybe we can get some dinner, that'll be very cool. Yeah, it's open. Open? We've just seen Grandma. Hey, it's in the school bus. No, it's in this little bus point to it, baby. There. Oh, okay. But not the cozy little restaurant like I thought it might be there. <laughs> <laughs> We've just parked, we just parked up. <laughs> Check this out. So this is, they got a fire pit here. Looks like that's the seating area for Grandma's kitchen. And uh, they got <laughs> look at this building here how cool is this and then that is the grill where they you place your orders in here and it smells really good do you smell it i can i need to eat and it smells lovely oh look this is really cute grandma's off to bingo so we've just stopped off at tuk 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 souvenir shop and here they have like an area where you can stay you can park up by the water and it's 25 dollars a night and i asked the lady if she could leave the loos open and she said yes so chris is making some rice he made some curry yesterday uh we're going to get a bowl of our food we're going to put around to sam and andy's and um Sam carries two wine glasses just in case I come by and we're going to have a glass of wine and a beer to celebrate that we've arrived but we are tired. It has been an epic challenge. Um, I'm a little bit ex like emotional. It's been really hard but really good and uh, yeah what an, what an adventure. We had a good night's sleep here last night in this little RV park, $25 for the night. And uh, it was freezing last night and it is cold this morning. Marianne's got her Alaskan fish hat on. You're looking very uh, cool there. Oh, mind the hole, Chris. You're looking very cool there, love. I've never tried to look cool. I'm just trying to keep warm. It is cold, isn't it? Morning. Morning. So we just went into the little gift shop and bought the sticker, we survived the ITH, and the back. Inuvik to Tuk Toyatuk and back. So this isn't going on the on the van until we've made it back because I don't want to tempt fate. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's almost that time when we leave this incredible place. It is not for everyone at all. It's a very unusual situation coming from a place where there are lots of coffee shops and bistros and traveling and different weather. Here is a very unique place. It's almost 2D for us, isn't it? Yeah, we woke up this morning and we, we looked at each other, didn't we? And it was like, can you imagine living here in the winter? But then we thought, can you imagine what they think of us yeah. driving up here and taking a photo with the Arctic Circle sign and the Arctic Ocean sign. Yeah. And then looking at their town and then leaving. Yeah. Because this road's only been here for five years. Before that, there was an ice road. And so they're, they're connected to, to tourists now. And it must be very odd for them seeing us all rock up in our, our overland foreign vehicles and then leave again. Yeah, it, it's for us as well, it's very interesting because obviously now the petroleum has entered this place. This would have been a really cut off and remote place, but now the petroleum is here. They have a road in before they just had the ice truck and road. Internet. And now internet. Can you imagine the grandmas and grandpas here? <laughs> like us, we look at kids on their phones looking at cats and kittens climbing curtains and falling off laughing and we look at them and go why are they doing this can you imagine mm. how much more shocking or strange that would be for a community that has been quite isolated absolutely 
And I said to one of the women this morning, how cold does it get? And she went, well, it's not that bad. We're prepared for it. Well, of course That's they true. are. Yeah, in they've the been UK, living like this forever, haven't in they? In the UK, we have a little bit of snow. The train stop. We have um, 30 degrees of heat and there's heat waves um, warnings. It's incredible. It's been an incredibly eye-opening and thought-provoking place. It really has. It really has. Okay, so there's one more thing you have to do whilst you're at the Arctic Ocean, and that is to dunk your feet in or go swimming, depending how brave you are. The good thing is I have a heart condition, so I can't actually dive in, but I am going to definitely paddle. Marianne and the kids are going for it. Andy's going to uh, swim or paddle. <laughs> ready? I'm are you ready? I'm ready. Let's hold hands and run. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's freezing! It's freezing! Stay there, heart condition man! It's freezing! <laughs> Three, two, one! Oh! <laughs> Out! <laughs> Jeez! Breath. Breathe. Huh? Breathe. 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 Big breath. I got brain breath. Big breath. Bye bye. Well done, mate. Good run. Oh, thank you. Won't be doing that again in our Cold. Room. Won't be doing that again. <laughs> Are you going hot now? No, it's my head. My brain was on freezing. <laughs> All right, kids, what do you, what'd you reckon? Good? Cold! <laughs> Marianne's warming up. <laughs> I've got very cold head. And we've just got a nice cream cheese bagel from our neighbours. Thanks, Sam. Oh, it smells and, like uh, toasted bagel. It does smell delicious. And we're going to have our breakfast. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Make sure you join us next time, where hopefully we've made it back to uh, Dawson City. And uh, we will see you on the next episode. And if you want to see more, check this video out right here. Bye for now.